Hello and uh, welcome to Viewpoint. I'm joined today by Victoria Wojtyska, a Ukrainian member of parliament. Victoria, many thanks for joining us. Thank you for the, your invitation. Uh, you are a member of the Samopomic uh, party. Um, first things first, uh, Samopomic recently left the governing coalition. Uh, this came after a vote, uh, a survival by the government of a vote of, of no confidence. Correct. Um, just explain the decision for us a little bit. Why, why did you guys decide to leave? Well, for us, for Samopomic, which is translated as a self-reliance, basically the party, it's uh, the party from uh, Western uh, Ukraine uh, that was uh, uh, born uh, with the idea of uh, providing people with opportunities to uh, realize their ambitions themselves, not to rely that much on the government. So it's eight years old in the history of uh, People, it's uh, not too old, but quite for young, Ukraine, yeah. quite young. But for Ukraine, it's quite an old already party. And uh, for us, when we came to the parliament, it was really vital to um, show the results to people, to really reform the country, yes. and to meet all the expectations that were there during the revolution of dignity. Yes, because for so, so a year, the, we've tried to yes, do that. Because the party entered the parliament after the pro-European Maidan correct, uprising. Correct. Is... It was mostly local in Western Ukraine, in Lviv in particular. Uh, but uh, since then, we've decided to go to a national level and uh, ran for the seats in the parliament yes. uh, a, two years ago, a year and a half ago. Yes. And how many seats do you have in Parliament? It's about 20... Right now, 25. 25, yes. 25. Correct. Okay. So um, for a year, we've tried to work together with, with our partners. We managed to draft and approve quite good and pro-European, pro-reform oriented uh, coalition agreement with certain covenants and rules implemented there, such as if anyone from coalition has an objection against a particular draft law or action, approval of the candidate of the prosecutor general, for example, this particular issue wouldn't be put into voting. Unfortunately, during 2015, we've seen these rules being um, not met very many times, okay. first of all. Second of all, uh, for us, the crucial issue was and is, uh, is the fight with the corruption. Okay. And especially in particular areas, energy, for example, uh, state-owned enterprises, all those issues that we believe are lingering or they are not allowing our country to really transform into from old Ukraine into new Ukraine. Yes, we yes. haven't seen much of the progress. No, but so um, in a way, though, it seems that by exiting the coalition, I mean, your chance of actually affecting change has become less and so wouldn't it have made sense to stay there. Well, our logic was that, first of all, we cannot bless anymore the corruption that exists within the current cabinet of ministers. It's just impossible to continue supporting uh, the pro-reform oriented cabinet, although there are certain people and certain areas where we see certain progress. It's not as if nothing had happened or changed for a better, but we see old uh, school yes. or old schemes, arrangements coming back. It's kleptocratic oligarchy uh, system that is now taking a revenge. That's what we are against of. So yes. by staying within the coalition, we would be like rubber stamp that whatever happens there, we are okay. I we see. are not. And we really want to push uh, the uh, change within the country. Yes. And the last drop was the vote for, of non-confidence where current prime minister with his team yes. stayed even after getting negative uh, appraisal from the parliament because the first word voting was to uh, consider the results of uh, um, or value uh, evaluate the cabinet of ministers and yes. its performances for a year so, and I mean, it was negative yes yeah, so and then the MPs, after that there was, first, a, there was a majority of MPs voted um, in a motion of not uh, being satisfied with, negative with... negative valuation like okay. giving yes. C to <laughs> C to the work to, of the government exactly yes. but then when it came to a vote of no confidence um, you didn't get the majority yeah Yes. So, I mean, explain this to us a little bit. What happened there and why is that linked to Samopomish's exit 
from the coalition? I mean, yes, OK, you're, 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 you're fed up with, with corruption and, and it's not working properly. So what was it about that vote then that was the trigger ultimately? Well, that was, as I'm saying, it was the last drop. It's not just the only one reason why we yes. exited, but that was the last drop. And why it was the last drop? Because we had discussions with our members of our coalition, uh, uh, with our colleagues, and we had uh, absolutely open, uh, transparent discussions. We raised all those issues and we said, we have to reload the system. We have to bring new people. We have to bring people who are equally distant from political forces, from oligarchs yes. who have guts to change the country. And unfortunately, what happened during that voting, first of all, we saw uh, representatives of the biggest faction, including uh, so-called Bloc Petra Poroshenko. Yeah, the president's bloc. The block. president's bloc. Yes. Uh, they've simply either withdrew their cards, the voting cards, okay. or uh, they didn't vote. No. And moreover... Uh, why did they do this? Because Poroshenko himself earlier had recommended that you Arseny Yeltsin, your them. prime minister, should resign. I mean, this <laughs> exactly. is something, and some kind of backroom, that very day. A backroom deal, I guess. Is, is that how we should... Think well, about this. the official, the official uh, explanation that I've heard, at least from a couple of them, I cannot talk on behalf of all of them, and I think it's better to ask those MPs directly. But what I've heard is that, well, uh, since there is no name, alternative, agreed upon within coalition, we need to leave the current uh, prime minister in his seat. Yes. But this is this is a wrong logic. I okay. mean, well, we can push the change sit down together, uh, have a long list, agree on the short list, have a public discussion, uh, look what people think about candidates, and then agree on the final name. Yes. And now it's uh, as if we're f freezing the conflict, uh, the status quo stays the same, mm -hmm. and we are okay with that. Because this, this suits certain, uh, certain business interests and Most powerful interests. Well, um, the vested interest is is tremendous there. Yes. It's really, we're talking about billions and billions of not just greenhouse, but dollars that are being uh, flooded from state-owned enterprises, from the state budget. Yes. And uh, by the way, the approval of the state budget end of last year, it was one of the examples why we decided to, to leave the coalition. It was presented three months later than it is, was supposed to mm -hmm. by law. Second of all, it was presented on the night, basically, of the voting. And we as MPs, we didn't have a chance to review and analyze it. We only picked one or two items that were absolutely outrageous, where okay. we almost like a million dollars spent for a festival. Who knows where, who knows why right. it's going to be done right. and for what purposes. So it, it is a form of corruption that was and is inherited already within the yes. state budget. Victoria, this all sounds rather pessimistic. Um, no, we are optimistic. I, I understand <laughs> that. So tell me why, ultimately. I think we're, we're almost out of time here. So uh, just sum it up for me. Where do we go from here? I mean, Yatsenyuk's government has survived. It seems like they will be in power at least for another perhaps half a year. Um, it's not clear. Well, I but, wouldn't talk about I don't have crystal ballers to say no, for how long he will stay no, there. No. But I can tell but you from first... Your, from your party's point of view now, First of all, now, what, we see next? that there are about 50 to 60 MPs who are pro-European, reform-oriented, who really want to uh, see the change, who are anti-corruption. Uh, They're really, really ready to fight with corruptions. So we are now forming circles, 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 including all those MPs, creating the momentum, uh, adding uh, civil societies, experts to the discussion of uh, changing the government, the principles of forming the government, who should be elected or selected for the position of the prime minister to have uh, an inclusive process, not exclusive. That's that's our approach. Okay. So we are quite positive about that. We'll see the result. All right. Well, Victoria, it sounds like there is still plenty of work to do. Uh, we will be, of course, watching this space very closely. Uh, but uh, we're out of time. But many thanks for joining us. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You've been watching Viewpoint. I've been joined by Victoria Wojcicka. She's a Ukrainian member of parliament for the Samopomich party. That's all we have time for today. Do join us again. And thanks for watching.